I have every weapon in the game. All right. Huh, let's start with the iron pipe. Uh, yes, please. So it has critical and high stun. All right, the most powerful iron pipe in the world. Phoenix dagger. I don't have the money anymore. All right. Time to sell some cores. Wow, so one children cores is worth more than... No, one machine core is 20, 20. Let's, uh... Let's keep 10 on us? You know, as a souvenir? <laughs> Phoenix Dagger! Alright, uh, yeah. Money won't be any problem anymore. So attack speed, attack speed, and Phoenix Flash. Uh, sounds great. Type 40 sword. Uh, it is a stunning sword. So it's like the... Yeah, it's like the stun... Uh, fists. Okay, so... Da, 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 machine sword, I just needed one more. Great Phoenix sword. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Type 40. I love the look of this thing. If the numbers are good, and the numbers... The numbers are extremely even. Which is very fun. I might actually want to use that. I just love the look. Just like a big, chunky, like, like straight blade. Just looks so rad to me. Alright, there goes the Cruel Blood Oath. Uh, the Beast Curse! I needed... Uh, what did I need? Legs, maybe? Pristine Screw, maybe? I don't know. Dragoon Lance. That I found it gives me dragon wings. Alright, it's probably not literal. Spear of the Usurper, that's what I got in the sand. And it got the turncoat ability. Oh boy! Uh, Alright, here's just a lance that needs broken batteries to get better. Don't worry about it. Here's another lance. Endurance, endurance, finish blast! Here's cruel arrogance I found in a tree somewhere. Yeah. Here's Machine Spear, I just needed the one. Angel's Folly. Folly of Angel. Angel's Mercy. I don't know what's going on with you, but I love your look. Virtuous Grief, also found in a tree. Engine Blade! What a... just a ridiculous... shift avoid. What a ridiculous thing. It's this big old engine. Gonna put a sword on my engine. Emil's head! Give stun, stun, and also, for fun, insanity. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so this is it. Every weapon upgraded by our old pal Masamune. Yeah? Yeah, and I got them all. So you're not commenting on that? Sounds great. It's weapon time! Alright. Uh, iron pipe. <laughs> just, okay, it's just big... I mean, look at the wide range. That is just absolutely ridiculous and unusable. Dad, if you're cold, I can give you my hat. You're the best father in the world, after all. Dad, if you're hungry, you can have my cookie. You're my favorite person in the world, after all. Dad, if you're scared, I can sleep by your side. You're my closest friend in the world, after all. So please don't go anywhere. All right, Dad? Don't leave your Yona all alone. Okay? This sounds like a near reference. Just the feeling I got. So, I read you before, because like, you're not new, right? Yeah, that one's really funny. Phoenix Dagger, that's new. What's Phoenix Flash? Okay, it's chance of offensive heal. <laughs> Got it. The girl lay there on the dead of her on the day of her wedding. Her parents and beloved were dead, and she herself had been vile in front of their corpses. Wow. <laughs> Starting strong here. As she swore to kill those who had done this terrible deed, a shining songbird appeared. Allow me to grant your wish, said the bird. Wish upon this dagger. Never forget this hatred that you feel. The girl grasped the weapon and spat out a tearful curse. 
I vow now to f I vow not to forget. Please give them a painful death. Time passed, and eventually she got her revenge. Years later, when she was an old woman, the songbird appeared anew. What of your vow? It asked, but she did not understand. And come to think of it, what became of her beloved dagger? That night, bandits broke into her house, assaulted her daughter, and murdered her grandchild. Songbird then appeared with some custom. Wow, yeah, okay, should have saw that coming. Don't mess around with the Fae. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Yeah, I remember this one. Do I remember this one? No. What? Energy charge? Is that, yeah, is that what the Fizz do? Yeah, charge on standby, then it does a thing. Alright, so that's type 4 O. Oh, it is a, uh, commander, like, officer. Uh, for the new weapon. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so they're just putting a weapon out there. Literally super, super dangerous to use. Sounds great. I'm pretty sure I saw you. Yes, that one was really funny. Oh, it's gonna have a... Well, I'm not sure. I, I'm still gonna take my... My time, because I'm pretty sure the... It's the great sword. I don't know, right? Oh no, this seems new, and it's pretty fun. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Phoenix Sword. I mean, you're bright and shiny, so I'm gonna assume I didn't read your story. One day, a hawk lost its way in the woods. Its proud wings soon grew weak as it tried in vain to find its way home. As death approached, a songbird took pity on the hawk and did its best to offer aid. Alright, so... Birds and birds. Birds, birds, birds. Songbird slowly nerves the hog back to health. The beautiful sight of the small white bird nestled in the elegant wings of the hog soon made it the envy of all the creatures in the forest. When the hog was fully healed, it knew it was time to leave the forest. Before flying away, it promised the songbird it would one day return. In turn, the songbird gave the hog one of its shining feathers as a token of friendship. As promised, the hog eventually returned, but with a human tau. Well done, said the human. These feathers will sell for a great prize at the market. <laughs> Sleep songbird. One blow! Plucked its carcass clean. Ah, the hawk ate well that morning. <laughs> so this is another, like, super dangerous weapon. Start testing out first thing in the morning. Metallic alloys with magical... El magic is a thing? I mean, this might be like, but it's latest. So they have magic? They have magic! Okay. Weird. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be new. As a sword? Weird. This one's just weird. Uh, Beast Curse is new. Yeah, it's the three princess stories. And I think we got two of them. The youngest princess is widely regarded as the ugliest woman in all the land. But her heart was gentle, honest, and pure. Hoping to aid others in need, the youngest princess would travel to the fields to offer, su to offer succor to peasants. They would reject her kindness with cruel words. The youngest princess knew her looks were dragging people away, yet she kept donating her life to the service of others, figuring that the fault lay in her own lack of devotion. 
Day after day, this continued for years without end. The youngest princess died alone, curled in the back of a damp, wet alley. She was so ugly that no one had the courage to give her a proper burial. Instead, she rotted where she lay, turning even uglier until she faded into the earth. The end. No moral, no lessons, just... <laughs> yup. Yeah. Uh... Chris power of mid-air attack. I guess that makes sense. That's what dragon wings would do. It is not jump, sadly. See, that one's nice. I think it's a dragon and a person. Like he says, he was small, insignificant, weak, but hated the world. I think it's like a, a dragon and a person bonding. And like they're both terrible. Because <laughs> of course they would be. What's turncoat? Ah, Chen subjugate foes when attacking them. Little confuse effect if you're a fan of RPGs. Two princess. S princes. This is the next true king. Yeah, one is dim witted charming, the other one is given the honor. So, you know, a char high, 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 high intelligence, high cha. And uh, they're asking the people. In the midst of the coronation battle, third man appeared, coming to be a prince, bright, capable, and brave. He dispatched the two foolish brothers and went on to become a wise and just king, beloved by all. Oh boy, alright, well, that that's that taken care of. <laughs> But why would they, I mean, they, they hang their beloved ruler if they were beloved and like, oh, well, yeah, okay. So he just, uh, he pretended to be prince, but like everyone loved him. Would people then just go and do that afterwards? Maybe, honestly, I feel like, I feel like that could happen. Oh, this one is... Yeah, so it's the... it's 4-2-S again. Hot scoop from the front line! Tch. Man. Yeah, that, that one did not lose any... whoops, did not lose any time in turning. I'm pretty sure this is new. Final blast. Needs a final hit. Yeah, so it's the old, old swords, but in spear mode. Ta. <laughs> Okay, sure. That, that came out a bit out of nowhere, but I get it. Dark Hideous Lance doesn't look that bad. Uh, has a weird, like, baby face at the end. I guess that is pretty weird. Oh, alright. How to cover with all y'all doing nearly anything. Alright, didn't lose any time. Third was an infant prince. Yeah, we're gonna give a spear to an infant. Alright. Sounds great. It's a grand old time had by everyone. Low Plato. Huh. This is, this is kind of, uh, you know? Like, it's just, there's no joy here. What's Angel's Mercy? Okay. So, again, it's just, it's defensive heal. Ah, uh, Demon who loves angels. It's pretty funny.
<laughs> All right. Yeah, honestly, he didn't think this through, didn't he? <laughs> All right. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. All right. That's just kind of upsetting and a little too realistic for me. I don't know. I didn't like that one. Fantastic. I feel like they're not created equal. And I think that's normal. Let's shift the void. Changes damage values and your evade maneuver. Oh, so it changes dodge. Interesting. Huh. Well, just say so, you absolute fool. This is a story of people. Just keep on the status quo going. Swing these weapons to hear Emil's voice. Sounds like a great time. <laughs> well, we get like actual date dates. Okay, so they're still being spawned, but the original isn't around. Interesting. Ooh, okay. I mean, it's on one end, it's interesting, and on the other, it says nothing. <laughs> Like, that's just kind of the funny thing. But, alright! This is it. It's all the stories. I got all the weapons, I've upgraded them all, and I did all the stories. So, next on the agenda is, um... Starting the ending hunt. But, yeah, I might... So, several people have told me about whacking at the statue in the park. I've mentioned that. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Is just, like, look at that, see what that entails. Because I don't know how ending hunting is gonna go, realistically speaking. Maybe it'll go quickly, maybe it won't. Like, I have no clue. <laughs>